Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Not too sure what my character was doing, but anyway, for today we are looking at another small fighter. We're going to be looking at the Mustang Vindicator V3, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a very elegant looking small block fighter that can fold its wings all the way down and make it look quite fancy while flying around. It comes with rocket launches, it's got auto cannons, and it even has a Gatling gun for good measure. I'm going to be testing all of that out against the immortal car sitting all the way over to here. Found this on the workshop and, well, it felt like it needed to be tested to make sure it lives up to its name. Anyway, all the way over to here and pressing F10, finding it in the spawn menu, the Mustang Vindicator V3 is 2,699 small blocks using the Warfare 2 Heavy Industry Wasteland and Decorative Block Number 2 DLC packs. We got no information whatsoever on the Steam Workshop page, so we'll just give this a thumbs up, move all the way around to the very front, I'll have a quick look around the outside, quick look at the interior, or we'll just fly around for a bit and then shoot up that poor little car. Anyway, all the way over to here at the very front, this is what we get. So we can see we got ourselves a Gatling gun, two auto cannons, a camera and a spotlight to blast your enemies with, and of course to light up the darkness and make sure you can aim your guns precisely. Just above that we've got some dark grey steel blocks, and then a bunch of white steel blocks to make up the main body of this ship. If we were to move all the way up and above right here we'll be able to see if I could stop locking on, thank you. A bunch of window blocks and some transparent LCD screens with some helpful information, we'll come back to that a bit later. Moving all the way around onto the side we can see how our gun's been connected up to the main body of the ship, there is no hinge so we cannot move it around, it's simply a static placement. All the way behind our auto cannons we've got ourselves a piston head, some cylinder blocks, and all the way behind our galley guns a bunch of cargo containers for you to put the ammunition inside. If we had to turn all the way around over to here we've got ourselves our rocket launches for some explosive firepower, then onto this section right here which comes to our foldable wings, Got a bunch of hydrogen thrusters sitting behind some blast or edge blocks. Also poke the camera all the way through here. There we go. Yes, as we were to move around onto the wing, this is how it's been set up. We can see the hinge right there that comes all the way down and across right to this section here. We've got some more black blocks that come across on some half slope blocks, all the way around onto this back part where we do have a red light sticking out at the very bottom. If we were to come all the way back over to this section, we see a double hinge setup for some additional safety, so if one got destroyed, hopefully the other one will suffice. All the way up to here, we see some more great block work. Then around and towards the very back here, we've got another little fin. And what's going to push us around is four iron thrusters. Now for the rest of the thrusters, they've been hidden away very neatly inside the thrust pods on the side. So if we were to come all the way past these iron thrusters, all the way into here, we'll then see our hydrogen thrusters, which are very similar to the ones we saw just a second ago at the very front. It should be all the way around over on this section. Yes, in the middle there, we've got ourselves a hydrogen tank and an O2H2 generator, which is very nice to see. And if we have to come all the way back around towards the very back where we were, we'll see we've got ourselves a auto cannon turret for some automated firepower. If we were to move all the way up and above and look down, there's not going to be too much to talk about. We do have a light right there, we've got a connector to refuel this thing up and to resupply it with some ammunition and we've also got some great block work. Moving towards the front there, another light and there's our fire cockpit at the front and then we can see our transparent LCD screen with that red writing right over there. If we were to drop down and come underneath, that is the bottom of our gun at the very front so you can clearly see those cylinders, those cargo containers and the little light. Moving all the way along like so, even more great block work. There is our rocket launchers on each side there. We've got ourselves a doorway to get in and out. Then right over to here, pistons with some magnetic plates on them, a bunch of hydrogen thrusters to keep you off the ground. And then at the very back there, there is the auto cannon turret. And there we go. That is a very brief look around the outside of the Mustang Vindicator V3. And it does look fantastic for how it's all been set up. But now what I can do is just grab hold of my character. We can hop out of the seat, come over to here, Hey, something like that, and now we can come all the way over to the doorway underneath it. So just clicking it, that will open up, that will release any kind of auction in this room. Come all the way up to here, close the door underneath us. There we go, and now we can land down onto the ground. We can hear the hydrogen engines humming away in the background. We can see a warfare reactor sitting behind some bulletproof glass, and a bunch of air vents below there to make sure you don't suffocate. We've got two cryopods for good measure, so you can use this for troops or even to store a prisoner inside, 
or just use it for its intended purpose of healing you if you took damage. Lining the walls of the room, we've got a bunch of gyroscopes, and we do have our small block seats on the side there, just in case you want to use them. I'm going really to get a good view of the free camera, but uh, there we go. Turning all the way around and looking towards the front, we've got a doorway to go towards our cockpit, but just closing that up, we see some time blocks, which is going to be for the distance underneath. Then just coming through here, closing that up behind us, this is what we get at the very front. So we've got some lights lining the floor, and towards the front there, we've got a lovely glass cockpit and a seat to sit in. So in first person view, we're looking all the way around, we've got a fantastic view of what's going on, and in front of us, a bunch of LCD screens with some useful information. So coming into third person view and bringing over the HUD, these are the controls we get. Number one is going to be for our Gatling gun and the very front there, just to fire it straight forwards. Number two is going to be for our auto cannons right next to it. And there they go, they make a lovely sound, very chunky sound with that weapon. And number three is for our two rocket launchers on the side there, in case you need them. Number four and number five are for our wings on the sides. We've got to get the camera like so and press number four. That'll fold all the way up. Then once they're in place, we can press number 5 to lock it so that they don't wobble around. Then we can press that, and now they won't move up and down because you accidentally hit it. But for the moment, we'll fold that all the way down, and then lock it in place. Number 6 is for our hydrogen thrusters, you turn them on and off, and that's for all the way around the ship. Number 7 is for our camera at the very front to help precisely aim our weapons. There we go. Number 8 is for our landing sequence. So the free camera all the way underneath with this one more time after having a little accident with that one. Press number 8, then here comes the pistons with their magnetic plates. Once they're fully extended, the magnetic plates will then be told to lock in place. Then once you're ready to take off, you press number 8 again, that will unlock the magnetic plates and retract the pistons all the way up into the body. Number 9 is then for our connector to lock and unlock it so you can dock this thing up, refuel it with any kind of hydrogen or ammunition you need. And as for that, that is all of the controls. So what we can do now is just fly as straight forwards like so. This is the speed we get, so we've got some nice speed moving forwards. It's not the fastest thing in the world. And then coming to a stop, it seems to be a lot quicker. Moving left and moving right, we've got some nice speed with that, and you should be able to make out the glow of the hydrogen thrusters from inside those side parts. You've got to move all the way up. And then moving down. Moving down is going to be faster than everything else, but that's just because we're on the planet and gravity is going to be helping out. Yes, moving the mouse around, this is what we get. It's surprisingly responsive. There's not really any kind of weight to this whatsoever. It does drag just a little bit. But yes, it's a very floaty control, and it, well, suits this size of ship. But what we can do now is come across this poor little immortal car. Where well, we're going to lock onto it. We should update our LCD screen over there. We're going to select our gun. So as we're firing into this poor little immortal car, you can see that the autocans have quite a drop on there. You don't really notice it while you're in space, but there we go. We're aiming all the way up to here, and it is sort of missing. So just going to realign that. There we go. And if we want to, we could always fly all the way across to here, switch to our rocket launches, where we're going to have no drop whatsoever. We're just going to fire straight into it. There we go. And of course, we can come a bit closer so we can see what's going on, even fire the Gatling gun into it. So here we are. We're going to zoom all the way out. There it is right there, not so immortal now. And then we can go back to blasting it. As for this ship itself, there's not too much else to talk about. It's very self-explanatory with what's going on with it. And it's got a nice sort of firepower if you are looking for a fancy small lock fighter. So one final thing to do, of course, is to slam this into the immortal car. And that'll be that for the Mustang Vindicator V3. So here we go, we're going to get a nice run up. Make sure we're aiming straight forwards, there we go. And now it's time to charge all the way along. So as per usual, there'll be a link to it in the description below. If you do wish to download and play around for yourself, highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye. <laughs>